Welcome to Israelite Killing Rottweilers. My name is James. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment. So, you saw the thumbnail. The reason for this video is what to do with a big dog in a small yard. The reason for this video is that when I was walking my dog one day, one of my neighbors asked, um, how many times do you walk it each day? Me personally, I walk my dog sometimes once a day, twice a day, sometimes zero times a day. Because I don't walk my dogs for exercise. I walk my dogs so that they can relieve themselves, uh, poop or pee, whatever the case may be. And that's really the reason for walking my dogs. Or if I just wanna get out of the house and want some company, then I'll take one of the dogs and we'll go for a walk. The dog in the wild, or the Canis lupus, the dog's ancestor in the wild, the wolf, can go up to 30 miles a day looking for food. Realistically, you cannot walk your dog enough that it's exercised properly, especially a working class breed like this dog, uh, like the Rottweiler specifically. Um, what you can do is walk a dog until it's hot. Dogs having those sweat glands can easily get hot but you would equate that to a person who's sitting in a car with the windows up. You're hot and you're sweating all the same characteristics that you would do if you were tired and had run a marathon. But you're not actually tired when the windows are up and the air is off and you're sitting in a hot car in the sun. Uh, you're just hot. And so that's why dogs are panning oftentimes is because they're hot, not because they're well exercised. So I figured that I'd take this video to show you some of the exercises that you can do with your dog um, to help you get exercise. Again, the walking just, just isn't gonna cut it. If a wolf can go 30 miles looking for food and the dog, the Canis domesticus being a descendant of the wolf, can do about the same. So hopefully this video will give you some ideas on different things that you can do with your dogs if you have a uh, small yard, a lot of neighbors around uh, that will help it get proper exercise. I'm pulling up to my local uh, home improvement store. Uh, pretty sure you guys have one in your neighborhood, Lowe's, Home Depot, this particular one here. Uh, it's not advertising it because, hey, I'm not on the payroll. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to show you one of the things that I do with this video to actually give my dogs some exercise and I do this daily, uh, sometimes twice a day, sometimes even more and it gives the dogs a great workout. So as I go into the store today, I'm going to show you the three items that I get, you can get to make this particular instrument or apparatus known as a flirt pole. It's something that's very useful, again, for your dogs to get a tremendous amount of exercise uh, in addition to the walking that you do. All right, so I'm just looking for a 10 foot long PVC pipe. I think I find what I want here. Uh, it doesn't have to be too big as far as the diameter. Uh, three quarters of an inch is fine. So PVC pipe. Uh, is one of the tools that I'm going to use. Uh, in addition to that, I'm going to get some rope and a clamp. Alright, so you can get almost any type of rope, uh, it doesn't matter. 
I think 100 feet might be a little too much. You can also have them cut some rope, but I think I'm just gonna buy some uh, some pre-packaged rope. 50 feet here. If I can find 25. The last thing we need is a clamp. So in interlocking uh, snap here. Let's see. Something like this that the rope can fit between. Uh, so we got the interlocking spring snap, some rope, and then of course the piece. All right guys, made it home. And what I have here again is the rope, the spring snap, and the 10 foot long PVC pole. I've also went and got a drill and drill bit. Uh, this particular drill bit is half an inch, so I can drill a hole big enough to stick the spring snap through and uh, a utility knife to cut the rope. You can, of course, use scissors. All right, so I have the PVC pipe here uh, with my drill and the drill bit, half an inch. I've already started pre-drilling the hole. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up. My hole's about a half an inch from, half an inch from the top. I'm then gonna take my uh, snap ring and a piece of rope. This is about five foot in length. Uh, you don't need to go much longer than that. Take one end of the rope, tie it through the snap ring. Make sure that it's tied good and tight. If not, then once the dogs grab the end of the toy, that will be at this end of the rope. All right, the entire contraption should come apart. So, once the rope's good and tight, then just take the snap ring, stick it into the drilled hole. Again, take the other end of the rope, tie a tug or toy to it. And from there, you can swing it around the yard. It's great for working dogs to get a tremendous amount of exercise in a very short time also keeping you from getting tired. It allows them to run and chase it, as well as jump, leaping in the air. You can also work some obedience commands into it, and I'll add that to this video right after that so you can see how it works and how it looks, and hopefully enjoy it with your dogs. Yeah, now. Matt. 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 This is Raphaim and Beth. And as you see, down. That's James. Raphaim down. Nope.
Okay. I'm gonna turn that way to my left. When I say counterclockwise, and start spinning with. Sit, down, referee down, down, good boy, stay. Water.